Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tower of God episode number 3 reaction. Uh, in previous episode we got a small glimpse of Yoru's power and uh, yeah as we can see that uh, he'll probably be a very big deal like uh, the um, person who was uh, conducting the, the what do you call it the test was also a bit surprised in the previous episode and uh, he has new allies new friends uh, two of them and uh, yeah so let's get started with uh, Tower of Court episode number three can't wait to react to this and okay and the subtitles and the uh, what do you call it timer will be given here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started I'll be counting down three two one go Oh boy, this opening so good. I, th I mean the uh, the simple design of Yoru and uh, like he's quite simply designed like uh, like a normal guy uh, I think it is quite misleading because uh, the small glimpse of power that we got uh, the, in the previous episode was uh, what, what I call it was quite a big deal like uh, usually in uh, mangas and where uh, we see is someone is quite OP or powerful the design of the character is not as simple as this like uh, Yoru's design is extremely simple like he he's like a like a normal kid and uh, his mannerisms are also quite mild, wild manner, uh, mild mannered but I think something's hiding inside him like and uh, Black March also chose him like that's quite a big deal as well okay Agero. Is that the guy? Yeah. Maria. What's the name? Okay, so he was no royalty. Okay. Oh my god. So Maria betrayed him, I think. Okay. Okay, so is he using fake name? Must be because he was royalty. So he has to hide his name. <laughs> oh, he did not uh, understand that of Sky. Yeah. Because he was always underground. The faces that Rock's, Rock makes are so funny. <laughs> the face. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I was also thinking about that. What? Oh, okay. Wow, this is the first time we saw the whole structure. Okay. Hmm. 
Must there must be some reason. Okay. <laughs> like a little kid. <laughs> okay. Let's see the next test. Death cry. Okay, who is this girl? <laughs> this guy loves chocolates. <laughs> okay, something bad is happening. What the hell? Um, you're quite creepy. Okay, that's helpful. That looks like some kind of Pokemon. Okay. Hmm. Time. Oh yeah, the time's counting down. Okay. <laughs> so it's in plastic bag. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you can see it like that as well. Okay. Okay, so everyone knows about him. God damn it. And here it comes. Okay. Yeah, fluorescent bag. <laughs> hmm. Is that a tea ceremony? I thought that was a girl. Okay. There are a lot of doors. Okay. What? What was that? Must be something. Okay. <laughs> Poor rock. Um, yeah, calm down. <laughs> Twelve doors. Yeah, must be something with the time limit. You can open each and every door and see. There was no rules that you can't open other doors. Was there? No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it must be something with the clock.
might be which uh, the timing where it's pointing that number of door can be opened oh my god half siblings okay princess of jahat okay oh yeah the same amount of devotion and everything I think the pointer at which the time is uh, pointing that's the correct door wait did he do it he did it wait what yeah <laughs> animalistic instincts i think or, or the thing was that you have to open a door yeah just any door or yeah oh yeah 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 conquering your, your own fear that was good good test like Like you have to do something first. You have to take the initiative, or else nothing would work. That's the thing that this test test teaches us. Trust, trusting, uh, yeah, 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 definitely. Now that was a good test. Hmm. Yeah, what's in this bag? <laughs> oh yeah, bag. <laughs> the baggage he carries. And that was a good <laughs> Definitely. One from Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, he was a uh, instructor, so. Yeah, trust issues because they have trust issues, but not they. Kuhn has trust issues. That was nice. Okay. This is Rahel, isn't it? Whoa. Hmm. 
वो ले रो रो ओके बनाना ब्लैक हार्ड ओ या यू नीड मनी फॉर दैट लाइक लक्की बॉय बिकॉज ही वॉज लक्की इन गेटिंग इन साइट या आना कन हाथ Yep, definitely. <laughs> The Lero ro. Oh, this is Lero ro. I forgot his name. Okay. Bonus test. All right. What does that do? Okay. What? Eh? <laughs> Sleeping I woke up. <laughs> All right, that's quite a good opportunity like yeah. Must be something. There must be something else. The crown game. Okay. Okay like that uh, cavalry battle Oh you have to sit in the chair okay Okay You have to keep sitting in it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Is is Rahel coming? Time I come. <laughs> Yeah.
my god calm down rock oh my god black march something is happening okay <laughs> Um, you're falling for it like what? And Damn these guys are like swept up by their emotions oh My god and down Okay, black march is reacting might be some kind of <laughs> okay you should probably run now <laughs> okay Okay, he was running for the... But what would that... How would that help? And it's over. Oof! Yeah, Rahel is there. Um <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Yeah, Rahel is here Okay, he saw her. Now, that was an amazing episode, like one of the best episodes that I've seen of this anime. Like, we're like just three episodes in, but still. I really enjoyed that. A lot of mysteries uh, surrounding Rahel and Yoru also. Like, why was he underground? And uh, how did Rahel find him and everything? okay so yeah that was the end of tower of god episode number three now this i i found this the most enjoyable i mean uh this had less amount of fighting and everything but the the uh, thing that happened at in the midst of the episode was that uh, we get to know about uh, what was his name Kuhn Kuhn's uh, backstory a little bit of backstory uh, as far as i can understand it was that his uh, he uh, kind of loved us his sister who was like he was half related to her and uh, his sister kind of betrayed him and took the throne and his mother uh, like uh, kind of 
told uh, Kun that you should not trust anyone uh, without uh, what do you call it uh, blindly trust anyone and uh, everything like that and he was like uh, exiled from his place uh, and uh, yeah, that was kind of like a betrayal to him so and he kind of sympathizes with uh, Yoru because of how Yoru uh, looks up to Rahel and uh, how his uh, eyes shine up when uh, talking about Rahel uh, because he was at the same position at one time so he kind of sympathizes with him now uh, here was here's the thing I first I thought that um, the test was that you uh, there was uh, the clock inside and there was also the timer in that pocket so there was no need for the clock as they, as they said but uh, I thought that uh, whenever which uh, whichever uh, what do you call it uh, number the clock uh, had uh, pointed at hmm, that would open and uh, the reason for thinking is that is that there are 12 doors as I can remember and uh, there are like 12 uh, like 1 to 12 there are 12 uh, uh, what do you call that minute uh, minute uh, yeah uh, what do you call that Mm. Uh, you can understand like 1, 2, 3, 4, two, two, up to 12, there are 12 uh, portions of the clock. So whichever uh, hand, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, whichever push, uh, slot the hand pointed at, I thought that that uh, uh, door would open. So like if it was like 5, you have to open the 5th door. Uh, if it was like uh, 7, you have to open the 7th door. I thought that must be it. But uh, there was a more simpler reason here because uh, uh, at the first, uh, when they got inside, uh, they were shown what would happen if they were unable to com complete the um, test, and that uh, planted a fear in them. Like uh, that was like a controlling thing. Then, like that, yeah, I have to get it in one chance. Uh, if I'm unable to do so, I'll be like, uh, I'll have to uh, get a punishment or something bad will happen to me. So that was like the thing that f fear factor that was um, affecting them. And even if people do not have that fear factor in them, just like uh, Rak and uh, Kun never had that kind of fear kind of thing, but Kun had a, another problem that was trust issues. So uh, people who are not fearful, who do not fear for them, hmm, uh, they have some other problems. And uh, like here, uh, we can see that Kun has some trust issues, so he was unable to trust himself fully. And he was unable to go on with his decision, like uh, he was unable to become be proactive. And uh, Rak did it for him. And uh, that was what was uh, stopping him from uh, moving on further. And uh, if this thing persisted in him, hmm, he wouldn't have been able to go more uh, down the road. Like uh, if even if he uh, passed this uh, bonus, uh, uh, not bonus, this test. Hmm, uh, further down the road in uh, more difficult situations uh, this trust issue would kind of like hinder him he would be unable to put his whole trust in his teammates and uh, that would probably cost him might cost him the failure of uh, a test so it was good that this thing was resolved in this episode uh, i think kind of resolved because uh, uh, what do you call it uh, these things do not go away so easily uh, they kind of remain and um, now he at least has some kind of like uh, a goal like uh, he uh, has kind of like a goal that yeah he wanted um, Yoru he um, wanted to uh, what do you call it not make Yoru go through whatever he had gone through before so this is kind of like a little goal and uh, this is at least he is doing it for himself and uh, so yeah, uh, this episode was extremely good. I really liked the thing that they did, and um, here we can see that uh, Rak, who uh, who is like uh, quite a, a bit of stupid and uh, uh, not as uh, quick-witted as the others, but he has one uh, important thing that is needed in the team, that is uh, initiative uh, uh, and becoming proactive and doing something. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, and he doesn't have fear and he, he has a thing uh, to what do you call it do something and uh, to uh, move on uh, onwards and uh, that was needed uh, each and every character in, in this team uh, has something that the team needs that is uh, Rak has uh, his uh, proactivity and uh, even though it might become a problem later on where uh, you really have to use your brains Rak can mess up but uh, uh, what do you call uh, Yoru and um, Kun is there to stop him at that and Kun has wits, brains, he has, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, he also has a little bit of power, uh, he's, uh, 
strength and um, yeah he he can kind of like uh, he's a mental aspect of the team uh, rack is a physical aspect uh, kun is a mental aspect and yoru as far as i can say is the emotional aspect like he can uh, what do you call it he can bind the team together with the emotional aspect he has he has that power like uh, to uh, make uh, not make friends but uh, to keep a team together and that's the main thing here like uh, if uh, if not for yoru uh, these two wouldn't have come together like uh, uh, rak and um, uh, kun wouldn't have become a team if not for yoru and because yoru was there they became a team and that's the main aspect he is like the foundation of the team he's uh, uh, what do you call it uh, holding the team together and each and every one has an uh, important uh, role to play in that team and that was done quite brilliantly and i really, really like this episode and uh, it kind of showed that yeah uh, each and everyone has a role to play in anything that it does <laughs> yeah and uh, what else and yeah we can see um, what was his name rahel uh, rahel came in uh, and we saw her for a brief period of time i don't know what his pl her plan is like we saw her like uh, killing some people i think uh, or defeating some people i don't know what that was but there must be something and um, uh, uh, another thing is that uh, uh, the tower that uh, the tower is quite mysterious like uh, it is like a floating uh, castle in the sky just like a sao iron card and um, here we can uh, here the th the thing is that uh, you can look outside and uh, see the uh, imitation sky and everything uh, but to watch the real sky thing you have to go to the top and um, yeah it is it's quite fascinating like uh, we are kind of like uh, what do you call it um, climbing their uh, floors to go to the top to become uh, the tower of god i think they said at the first episode yeah and um, uh, now the the god of the tower sorry what i am what was i saying and um, <clears throat> another funny thing is that uh, like uh, they based everything on this bonus test like uh, if someone is able to complete it uh, they would have get the right to climb the tower and they won't even need to uh, what do you call it uh, do the tests other tests like what's up with that and i did not understand this portion because uh, they said that uh, they will be getting the right to climb the tower and uh, i thought they were already climbing the tower or am i wrong like uh, they uh, need something more um, i mean uh, they need to uh, clear some floors more to get the right to climb the tower and then you climb the tower Um, this was a bit confusing because uh, uh, like uh, uh, they said that if you are able to uh, clear this bonus round uh, you'll get the right to climb the tower and you won't have to do any other tests like um, like uh, someone ma excuse me someone will really be able to uh, uh, what do you call it clear this uh, uh, test like at least one will be the winner so what happens to him he will be like transported to the top of the tower and so what's up with all the people who are doing every uh, clearing every uh, floor and um, uh, going up like uh, they like why are they doing all those things then and why is this a bonus round then this uh, should be uh, must be like a uh, additional should be given an additional round title and uh, yeah like uh, they didn't even give any warning or to kind of disadvantage if you lose this happens so so like uh, if you win you, you get the right to go to the top of the tower and uh, they were also said that you can also opt not to uh, participate in this uh, round why would anyone not participate in this round if it has no disadvantages like uh, if there was a disadvantage like if you lose you will go to the bottom of the tower something like that or you would be banned to uh, climb the tower uh, it would have kind of made sense because uh, the reward is at par with the disadvantage that you would face if you lose uh, the uh, round so this has only advantages so why would anyone not opt for this like that's also another question um, there must be something uh, we are not getting and we're not seeing the full picture over here so yeah and uh, i really like enjoyed this episode like this was really uh, amazing uh, they did it amazing and each and everything that they did um, and i'm really impressed and uh, yeah i really enjoyed that so 
thank you guys for watching and I'll, uh, if you enjoyed my reaction please press the like button and if you're new here or have not subscribed please be sure to do so and um, comment down below like I, I said a lot of things over here and uh, that was my opinion my take on this episode and uh, this was a really well uh, made episode and I really uh, what do you call it I really enjoyed it and I, I was not expecting an episode like this uh, so early in the uh, what do you call it so early in the series so that was quite surprising and, um, and yeah uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll be back with a new Tower of God episode next week and um, yeah until then uh, goodbye and have a nice day